All right, guys, welcome back. Look what we got today. We got that Hutch, Hutch 24, XL 24 we're building. But that's not going to be the star of the day. The star of the day is going to be this. Hair. Well, you know, no, I purposely did this. My 80s hair because we're building an 80s bike. Ah. Okay. And the flip flop. Yeah, you got that meat spin song. You, you spin you. me <laughs> round, round. <laughs> this one here, we got. Have you, they man. always spelled chromoly like that? Where? Chrome dash Molly. Well, I'm surprised it's not called Chomali. Okay, so <laughs> this is an 83 Yi T in the, in the special Chrome. Uh, yes, guys, this thing has been re chrome and um, I I forgot the backstory to how this gentleman got this, but. We're gonna build this guy up today. I'm pretty excited because this was one of my first bikes that I got back in the day. Early one, there's there's no GT engraved, so it's one of the earlier ones. Uh, this is one of the one Mr. Turner, Gary Turner, uh, Tina Turner, made this. I think this is still the one. Guys, can you clarify to me the 83, if this was still done at his house in his garage or was this at the, the shop by now? So that I don't know, but this was one of those handmade one each to order all that jazz. And now look at this. This is the components that we have right here. All the anodized stuff you see here is done by Genco. We found out the anodized company is called Genco. It's in uh, Glendale. I mean, there is no other better company to do it. They'll do it. They'll machine it for you. All these right here are all used parts that's been re-anodized and re-machined by Genco. Look at this. Look at this stem. Ah, ah, this hub, everything's stuck, everything's stuck. Some of the guys in there are like, no, no. Look at the hub, guys. This has all been redone. I remember taking this hub apart when they brought it here. It was all beat. The array of rim. These were all, these are all dated. These are, these are not repopped. You can see right there. It's all been remachined and anodized. Um, stem, I'm trying to get the stem, stem out. This has all been redone, guys. I know a lot of you guys, Bill, and you guys, you guys always miss this, but I love these. The mushroom bearing cap for the bottom bracket. Guys, a lot of you guys, Bill, you guys are missing this kind of stuff. Uh, ODI, this should, re-release these guys so now that i kind of talk my your guys ear off let's build this guy up okay i'm going to show you guys each part as i build it up okay guys so the crank store we're going we're using it's considered see how it's square it's not spline it's a square tapered so this is the square taper bb that i have always recommended the one thing is because the spindle, it slides through and it's got these collars. So if let's say for some reason, the frame or the sprocket needs to be modified and you need to bring one side to the other, you can move the spindle accordingly to where you want it instead of having it center because some of these frames are bent and some of the sprocket they made, it's a little bit cockeyed. So I like using this thing so we could adjust it, okay? And it's still bearings, easy to use. What do you think cockeyed means? You think one eye is just looking at cock? Yeah, you know. Hey, does anybody <laughs> know the origin of the word cockeye? <laughs> Cockamania you know? he is. <laughs> hey, 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 is that is that like that Marvel Marvel character's brother-in-law, Hawkeye? Except it's cockeye. Just to let you guys know, I just build this up, but a lot of time the the chroming, the the paint, the anodized, we don't do. We recommend and people just go. Uh, I don't know who chromed this one. The customer had it chrome himself. Trusty bearing press. Oh God, there's more. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, come here, Mario. Next thing is headset. So same company. Same company as the bottom bracket. Yeah, guys, yeah. I try to reach out to these guys. They don't like us. They don't want to sell to us. But you could buy these on eBay. I highly recommend it. I think these guys are like about 60 bucks. Headset, they come in all the colors. This thing too, they come in all the colors too. This customer just wants that. Sealed, kind of like that, that, that 10G style, but very affordable. I think this guy was about less than 50. What the hell is that? Ah, it's a spider! Ah! Ow! 
Did you? Oh. All right. You know what? We were kind of busy, and um, I forgot. I forgot to film it, but we had to file down where that part was because, guys, I've mentioned it in an old video. You guys gotta be very careful when they chrome it. You see how they chromed it all the way up here? It's not necessary. So because they chrome it where the race sits, it's so thick that this thing won't come down. And my little reamer, I don't have a one inch one. I have a one and one eight. So I literally sat there and filed that all the chrome off of that to make this thing sit. Ah, oh, guys, you're gonna go get a chrome. Make sure you tell the chrome or else you mask it off. So Alf was asking a question that I actually could not answer. So guys, Alf goes, why is it that the cup is pressed in and then this goes over it and it covers the cup? Why didn't they just do the lower, the, the, like the regular cup down here? This thing just pressed right in and there it was. This one had an inner cup. Could any of you guys explain to Alf why? I don't know why. You hear that? Just has all been re anodized too. Let's just let you guys know. Hit up Genco, okay? Hey Genco, shine you guys out, man. Hook me up with a with a discount here. It actually looks like it's only been like five minutes, but it's probably been what three hours. Three days. And we got customer walking in and all this. So what we have here is we have the original Primo hemorrhoid seat. <laughs> no, pretty much, right? Kashima seat, old school. I mean, despite how cool the seat look, guys. I really don't know any reason why anybody would want to rest their ass on this thing because this thing hurts. You guys start putting old bikes. There, there it is. Take, it'll take a little bit more time. A little mini. You know what, guys? I would have, I would have probably put a pro size one out on there, a little longer. I like these little knurlings. See how the knurlings on it? I like that. I like that. Okay, we we'll put on here. Now, if you guys. Al pointed out a really good point. So the knurling on this thing is all gone because they polished it out and they chromed it. But I don't think this person is going to really ride this thing hard. I think this is more of his show bike, but I was right, it will slip. So I'm gonna put the drive side on first. So this thing right here, there's a couple of tricks you could put on. Usually I try to fit it on first. This one looks like it is, is a used one because you can see where this thing used to be. But when they're not used, a good tip that Max came up with, put it in some hot water and put it in. Left side. Love how the machining, you can see all the details here. Beautiful. Perfect, perfect. Look at that guy. Brakes, just gonna be the classic. Daya, Daya Compi, old school. Color doesn't match because these are these are factory Daya Comp. These are all been redone, but otherwise, I don't think you'd be able to tell. So if you guys notice, there's two brakes. Okay, food, they're the same, so what? No, 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 no. Look at how long, look how long that bolt is, guys. The short one always goes to, to the back. The long one, because of how long it is, it's gotta go through this whole, oh my God, guys, I quit. You got the drill one? You guys know how I feel when there's no hole. <laughs> One of the last touch we're gonna do, MCS. Shout out to JD, Jeff over there. Lightning cable, guys. Oh, you guys do not know how much stress I've been through this. Hey, you guys, look. I'm going to point out right away, there's no grips. All right? And there's that, there's no front brakes. But other than that, the bike is done. I would just go with one brake instead of the front brakes. I've always been a single brake guy instead of a dual brake, by brakes. So again, this is this is an 83 GT. I wouldn't even say it's a Mach 1. I would say just say at that point it's just a racer. You guys clarify with me. This is not a Pro Series, it's not a Mach 1. So what is this? Just a GT, just a Gary Turner race bike. Really well done. Again, I'm going to go over the parts real quick for you guys. Genco was the company that did the, the anodize on the rim, the hub, crank, pedal, seat post, seat clamp, stem. Okay, the headset, the brakes were all done separate. The chrome, I, I, I think New Year would have done it. 
great job on those guys too. So this customer, he, like we built plenty of the bikes for him. Some of them we, we post up, some of them we don't. And for some reason he loves the half link chain. I know some of you guys have pointed out in the past some of the videos we did, you're like, hey, you know what, it is his bike. I, I think if back in the days that the half link chain was there, I think a lot of people would have been on it. So sure, why not? You know, put that on, it looks really cool. And then because it's gold. Um, authentic Comp 3s, guys. I guess, I guess there's somebody over in Europe that have this and you can only buy it on eBay, but they look pretty legit. I'm not sure if they're actually real Tioga, but it looks really good. And that's pretty much it guys. This thing has been kind of stressful because some of the parts, the thing is what you got to understand is when we start putting together an old bike like this, some of the parts are not actually 83 parts. They're more current uh reproduction so when they make it reproduction they make it according to the mass bikes like the uh the spindle on this thing was a little short but we made it work the hub spacing on this thing it's barely grazing it's not hitting we have to put spacers just because the way it was made we had to file down some of the parts on, on the sika to make it fit other than that it's all good i wish i had the grips to to make it fit so you guys can see so guys, this is another great build. You guys comment in. Tell me what exactly this GT frame, the actual name is. And tell me if, if this was done correctly, if this was done wrong. What would you guys have done different? What would you guys have done, uh, the, you know, kept on there? And uh, guys, share this. Uh, hey, and you know what guys, thank you. The subscription number, Alf, it's gone up, it's gone up. Hell yeah. So that to me means a lot because you know what? I'm asking and you guys are doing it for us. Thank you so much guys. And let's see what we got next time. Okay guys, I got a bunch of projects that we got to build up. We got to film and uh, I got to get back to work. Okay guys, later.